welcome back to another episode of SG or Quarify. In today's episode, I'm gonna let you know why feather fin squeakers are the best bottom feeders in my opinion. This guide is not about stuff that you can find on the internet but it's actually about my experience in keeping them and the experiments and tests I have carried out with them. Do take note that different fish have different personalities so not all information in this video is precise and accurate. Some species of Cyodontis might be aggressive while the others might be very peaceful. Now let's get into the video. If you look at the feather fin squeaker, it will look quite like a pleco and corridora mutation, like the mouth of a corridora and the body of a pleco. But this species of fish prefer water conditions way different than those of those two fish. Feather fins prefer a harder pH like African cichlids because they do live in the same conditions and they are super hardy so they will love to be in pHs other than hard water like pretty acidic water but not super acidic so if you keep them in very acidic water they will have acid burns like which is very common for fish that is kept in acidic water even though they are supposed to be kept in hard water these guys will eat both algae and excess food in the bottom of the tank so basically they have the benefits of both corridoras and flecos but the best part is not that they eat algae, but that they will clear out the whole bottom of the tank in one day. The fact that they are big fish and unlike corridoras or plecos, they are not lethargic and they will swim around in the tank. And if your Cyodontis doesn't swim in the day, I'm pretty sure it will swim in the night because they are nocturnal fish. But my fish swims mostly in the day. And I've never seen it in the night before, but I'm pretty sure it will clean out the whole thing then because if you overfeed your fish, it will clean out everything. And because of this, this will reduce ammonia spikes like the rotting food in the bottom of your tank will be lethal for your fish when it's left there unattended. Let's get into the next part and that's that they grow slow unlike plecos. Um, corridoras are small fish so they live for a small lifespan. The most I have kept the corridora for is about 3 years and they don't live that long. But on the other hand, plecos are very different. They live about 5 years or more but they actually grow quite fast in about a year. They will grow quite large and will be already too big for your tank. But on the other hand, Cyodontis eupterus, or also known as the feather fin squeaker, actually lives about 13 to 15 years and they will grow quite slow. Uh, it will take about 2 years for them to even grow about the size of a normal black hole that you will find in the pond. And by then, you have to transfer it to a bigger tank because these fish are the biggest species of the Cyodontis family and you do not want to be keeping them in a 10 gallon tank. You can keep them in a 10 gallon tank if they are a baby like how I got them because they are sold as juveniles most of the time and it's recommended that you get a juvenile fish other than an adult as you will need a bigger tank. The next best thing is that they have the best personality that a bottom feeder could ever have. These fish will come up to you after a month or so and they will recognize you for food and whenever you come to feed them or even go near the tank, they will come up to the tank and they will be thinking that you will be giving them food because they recognize you. And they will be going around the tank and doing a lot of funny stuff like swimming upside down because they are related to the upside down catfish family and they will also be sifting around the gravel and you can actually watch their behavior as it's pretty interesting and this is why they are good fish cause corridoras and plecos they will be staying in the same spot and they will be just doing their stuff like cleaning the bottom of the tank or algae and sometimes it's not really that interesting to watch and that's why it's always have good to have a fish that you could bond with in the tank like this Cydontis with terrors as they are very playful fish and when if you put your hand inside the tank even they will actually go around the tank and they will nibble your hand even.
the next best thing is that they will not eat small fish so that they are perfect for community aquariums. A lot of fish with good personality like Apistogramas or German Blue Rams, they are aggressive. Even if they don't eat small fish, they are aggressive and they will be boisterous. But on the other hand, Cydontis Eupterus don't really care about other fish in the tank and they will do what they will do normally. They will hide out in their hiding spot or they will sift around in the gravel. So even if you want to have a great small community tank with small fish but you want to also keep the bottom of your tank clean and in a budget like corridoras most of the time are not really that cheap because if you buy a group of them it will be already over about fifteen dollars so if you keep side on this you tell us it's cheap it's three dollars and you can keep the bottom of the tank super clean no ammonia night strikes Okay, let's get into the next part and like all fish, they do have cons and this fish really doesn't have much cons as one of them, they are not perfect for planted aquariums because they will uproot plants but as I said in the start of the video, it actually depends on the personality of the fish because my friends have feather fin squeakers and theirs don't really uproot plants as much as mine as you can see in my tank my tank already has no more plants cause my pedophine squeaker already up to all of them and he ate some of them cause I have been not feeding him his vegetable diet recently cause I ran out of cucumbers and he just needs to get his diet up again so he is eating the plants so that's something to take note as one of the cons and if you want to keep them with plants, do take note that you have to put them in places where the fish can't ditch them or you can also uh, keep hardy plants like Anubias or Java fern where they can't really uproot them cause they will be super glued. The next thing is they grow big so they don't make good long term fish for small tanks. As I said before, they are the biggest fish in the Cydontis family so once they reach about Adaku, which is about 5 years, they will be as big as a pleco and it's time for you to change them into a bigger tank if they already outgrown your current tank. So that's something for you to take note and the last point of the cons list is that they need a varied diet. You can't leave them inside the tank thinking that they are like plecos, they will eat algae and they will just survive on their own without food as the problem is that they need a varied diet and they will need you to put spirulina flakes or cucumber slices for them to keep up with their diet like they need protein and their veggies so that's something for you to take note so this will be affecting your other fish yourself as some of the other fish will also eat the feather fin squeakers food and this will cause overfeeding as you can see they don't have much cons to keep and they are cheap so what are you waiting for go and get your own feather fin squeaker today and enjoy a clean tank and fish filled with personality if you like this video do leave a thumbs up and comment down below what video should i do next and i will be doing a species profile about this fish in the future like what ph should you keep them what kind of diet you want to feed them cause i didn't really go into detail in this video so stay tuned for that and if you like my content do subscribe as it will support my channel and 